Hey there, welcome back to the vlog. So I want to talk about something that happened today. Uh, there's been a couple of points in my life where, as a computer programmer, I think I've got a full grasp on everything that I can possibly need to know to do my job. And then what happens is immediately after I reach this point, I suddenly realise I know zero, because all of a sudden I get enlightened to a much bigger playing field that I wasn't playing in before, and all of a sudden the rules change and I'm back to being a novice again. This happened again today. So this wouldn't have shown up in your news probably because you know it's, it's a very sort of uh, uh, specialized thing but Microsoft has been working on a language called Q Sharp and what this allows you to do is quantum computing. Now quantum computing is one of those things that's already on the sort of periphery of what I know about like I know it exists and I sort of vaguely understand a little bit about what it's about but they had a example program which I could look at in this new language and I thought I'd take a look at it and yeah I've worked with probably the better part of 20 or 30 computer programming languages over my career and this was the first time that I was looking at certain functions and going what does this mean? Now computer programming languages already have a habit of taking a long word and sometimes making it a lot shorter so for instance instead of uh, directory on a DOS machine you would say DIR or under Unix it's LS you know you wouldn't say remove you say RM. Well, in this case, I had a quantum bit or a qubit and I needed the measurement of it, but rather than saying measurement or measure, they just say M. And it wasn't immediately obvious to me what was going on there. I was like, what's this M? And then, you know, there was an if statement that said, well, if the value of this is one, then we're gonna leave it alone. And if it's zero, then X. And I'm like, what is X? Well, X turned out to be flip. Now, flip is already a very, very short word. It's only four characters. Surely they could leave the word flip there. So you've got some idea as to what's going on, but no, no, they changed that as well. It's one of those things, as I said, that I've hit numerous times throughout my career. And you know, this was the first time I've looked at uh, Q Sharp from Microsoft. And you know, it was just totally a new thing that suddenly made me realize, okay, you know, I thought I had a grasp on everything I can possibly know that's going on right now. You know, like I know what's going on in mobile, I know what's going on on desktop computers, I know what's going on in the cloud. And all of a sudden quantum computing just goes boof in the middle of it. And you know, all of a sudden I know nothing again. <laughs> Now a lot of people might get discouraged by this, but you know, I personally won't get discouraged by it. For me, it's you know a signal that I need to go and learn how this works. Uh, you know, it's not likely that I'm going to have to do anything with quantum computing for a while. Uh, number one, the hardware just isn't there yet. Uh, so whilst we have simulators, it's it's not something that I can just suddenly go right. I'm going to deploy a quantum solution to the cloud. Well, actually, I could because they've got a uh, 30 qubit Microsoft Azure cloud simulator thing going now so yeah I guess I could deploy a quantum cloud app but uh, yeah it's just gonna take me a while to work out well a how, how do you do this and number two why would you do this and you know those are questions that I don't know the answers to right now and this quite often happens you know you see something that looks cool and you're like how would I use that what is it used for so now I've basically got this signal which you know is like go learn this find out what it's about and then you'll be able to apply it to your career for the next you know 10 years 20 years or whatever <laughs> So that's what I wanted to leave you with today. If you like these videos, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And thanks for watching. All right, bye.